Hi again guys. So in this video I will review with you guys how we can easily pull financial data. Um, in this specific video I'm going to review how we can uh, uh, retract currency uh, data from uh, the internet, from a website, uh, by using the Google Finance uh, formula. So Google allows us, uh, Google Sheets actually allows us to um, pull data on exchange rates or uh, even uh, stock prices um, or various financial uh, features that we might want to use to better manage our portfolios. Um, so this is a really, really simple formula that we could use. Um, and in this example, let's say I want to see the daily conversion rate from um, Israeli shekels to uh, US dollars. So all I need to do is, um, again, I'm opening with equals, equals, and writing Google Finance, open parentheses, and here it's going to ask us uh, what is the currency that we want to use, so, or what is the actual financial that we want to track. So we are looking for uh, tracking the conversion from USD to Israeli new shekel and we close the quotation and add a comma and we want to see the price of this exchange and here we could um, choose the days the dates that we want to see so let's say now we're in July so I would want to see uh, from the beginning of July this year close quotation and add another comma until um, the 15th of July or 17th even. Um, not sure the market was open but we will see and we want to see this on the daily uh, basis and close and this is the formula I'll copy paste it uh, below in the description so you could easily take it and use it um, and just do enter and you could see I have the uh, conversion from dollars to uh, shekels uh, we could always go back here uh, for each day, right? Um, and for each day of the month. Sorry, I'll format the date so that you can see the day. Um, and it's really, really simple. We could also see how much it is uh, from USD to Euro. Let's see, and just with a simple click, we are receiving these results. Or vice versa, we could see from Euro to USD. And again, it gives us the daily results, and we could use um, if we want an average, depending what we are looking for uh, when retrieving these this information. Uh, so yeah, that was it for how we can uh, pull a currency exchange rate from by using Google Finance. Feel free to add any questions or comments you might have in the video below. And thank you for listening.